I wish I knew how much my anxiety would escalate when it comes to public bathrooms. Today we're going to be talking about our breast reduction journey. Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm 27 and I got top surgery two years ago. My name is Rachel Diamond. I'm 31 years old and I got a breast reduction eight years ago. My name is Sol. I am 19 years old. I got my breast reduction on June 17th. I remember for a while I had been thinking about it, but I kept it to myself. You know, it's kind of like a whole other closet to come out of. But having the approval of both my parents right off the bat, that confirmed my decision. The process was kind of crazy and fast paced. Initially, I had months to think about it. And after all these appointments, they put me on a waiting list. And one day they just called me up and they're like, hey, we can take you next week. Are you ready for your surgery? I took a breath and I said, yeah, let's go. I got my surgery on June 17th, 2021. And why I went through it is a number of reasons. Starting off with the back pain I would get, I would always do that person stretching. Another reason was that it wasn't really proportional to my body and there was a lot of clothes that I was not able to wear or I didn't feel comfortable wearing. The decision making process for me was a very thought out one and it took me about two years to completely come to terms with the idea that something was gonna be taken out of my body. I developed very early and the first time I remember a peer remarking on the size of my chest was in fifth grade. And by seventh grade, I was probably a D or a double D and the teasing just kept going on. And finally in 2014, when I was 24, I decided to get a breast reduction. So I did a ton of research into not only which procedure I wanted, but also the different surgeons in the Philadelphia area. I finally decided on a doctor who was primarily a hand surgeon because I figured if she could handle the intricacies of operating on a hand, she could definitely handle breast reduction. I had no complications. My recovery was pretty fast and easy. The first two weeks was really good and then I ended up developing an infection on my right breast and it got really red and inflamed and I went to the ER and the doctors ended up prescribing me some more antibiotics for it, which thank God it did heal perfectly. The recovery process went incredibly smooth and that truly is all thanks to my ex who took such great care of me during that whole recovery process time. The only complication I guess or complaint I have is uh, the sides of my scars kind of dog-eared, so that means they kind of stick out rather than go in. But enough, that's my only complaint. I'll take it. I love everything about my body now. I think a big misconception is that people think the larger your breasts are, the more attractive you look and feel. For me, it didn't make me feel more attractive. It made me feel very awkward. And I kind of developed this permanent hunch from trying to hide my chest. A lot of people think that you don't need to do something as serious as a breast reduction. If you want a smaller chest, all you have to do is lose weight. A lot of women complain that when they do lose weight, their chest is the first thing to go. That was not the case for me at all. I think the biggest misconception for me, thinking that top surgery meant that you are transitioning and that you are transgender. Yeah, that is a big misconception that I was stuck on for a long time. You do not have to identify as transgender to have top surgery. You do not have to follow through with fully transitioning because you have top surgery. You can identify as anything you want to be. The first one I would say is that the decision making process is easy which is completely false. You have to realize that this is something that's gonna be permanent on your body and something that you can't really reverse. The second thing I would say is that you don't know what could arise. Everyone's body is different and as well as the doctors. So how they do things is gonna be different from other doctors. So you just never know. The third thing I would say is that healing process is easy, which it's not for me. So it just really depends on whatever person you are or how your body heals to certain things. The biggest thing I wish I knew beforehand was to stand strong in the cup size that I wanted. A lot of surgeons are worried that people will regret it if they go too small, because again, there's that misconception that larger breasts are preferred, even than someone who's getting a breast reduction. So for example, I wanted to get a B or a C cup, but the surgeon told me I'd be much more proportionate if I got a D. And I figured she's the surgeon, she knows what she's doing, so I agreed. However, once I started to heal from the surgery, and even now, eight years later, I wish I had stuck to my guns and gone with a C cup. I wish I knew how much my anxiety would escalate when it comes to public bathrooms. 
I didn't realize how much I relied on puffing out my chest whenever I went into a women's bathroom. Just being able to like visibly show that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. One thing I do wish that I knew beforehand was probably how painful that it was going to be. They do say that it is one of the least painful surgeries, but it really just depends on your pain tolerances, which I figured out, and it's going to affect people in different types of ways. The most surprising thing that I learned after my breast reduction is that I finally understood why someone would get a breast enhancement. Obviously, growing up having a large cup size from a very young age, I could not understand why anyone would want large breasts. But once I got my reduction and I saw how much more confident I felt, I understood why someone would go the other way just because it would make them feel good about themselves. And I'm so glad and confident that I did this. I regained my confidence and I hope that you guys that are struggling with yours regain yours too and you own and love your body. My biggest takeaway from all of this experience is just I had no idea how much confidence and happiness I was missing out on before. I finally found the missing piece to my puzzle and I hope you do too.